All right, part B of, of this question about the bees. So complete the following table. Well, rows one and two each had one, one in them. So row one, row two. Row three has two. Okay, so row three is gonna have two bees in it. Okay, the next one here had three. So we'll go down here to three. Now, row five, that was the first one that I came up with. That was, whoops, just barely see it there. Row five is this one right here. That's one, two, three, four, five, five bees, okay? Six was the next one that I came up with. Let's go down here, we're just gonna count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and this last one here, it's gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen different bees. And there we go. Now, I don't know if you recognize that, but right there, that is the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, to go from one spot to the next, or to, to get the next uh, number here, you simply take those two numbers, add them together to get this one, add these two numbers together to get the next one, and so on.